All right, here we go. Welcome back to Chinstrap Chaps. Riveting. We're playing the female, right? <laughs> Riveting. That's that's pretty funny. How long did it take you to come up with that joke? You've been working on that one? Oh, hey, hello. Hungry. Oh, I like the Negatron Collider. That one's pretty good. Can I afford all these? No, I can buy two. All right. So Mr. Fungi, he's like the the Mr. Zircon equivalent of this game. Okay. So not as cool. The Topiary Sprinkler is a sprinkler that turns everything into hedges. Or like sculptures or whatever. And then this is like a Kamehameha, basically. So I want the Kamehameha Blast. And I'll probably do the Fungi, because he's... I always like having those, like... Extra, extra helper. Extra helper dudes, yeah. I got eight, or no, I got eleven. I'm gonna I'm gonna save up my Rutanium, I think. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Alright. So now we're playing as uh, Rivet. Billy, I know you've been waiting to see all the Rule 34 stuff. <laughs> we saw that a while ago, actually, didn't we? Yeah. Back before we even played it. Yeah. And I wonder if people's vision of, of Rivet ended up being accurate to what what she was in the actual game, you know? Uh, based on the many Rule 34s that I saw, no. no. <laughs> not even she close. does not have massive mommy milkers. You know, you know what, Billy? It has been a little while. <clears throat> we haven't looked up as much uh, porn during our, our play sessions anymore no, we because haven't. your guy ain't doing it anymore. Well, yeah, he's arrested. Oh, that actually happened. Yeah, he's arrested. Okay. Straight up. He is he is not... <laughs> really? He is not allowed to do that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I remember like that was like a possibility that like yep. that I think was being tossed around, but I didn't know that actually happened. Yep, he got arrested. Some of the drugs and like gun possession and oh, stuff so, like that. Okay, so it was completely unrelated to the porn shit. Oh, I mean, it's... Probably somewhat related to it. I, I yeah, but I mean, like, far into but it. I mean, like, you know, certain some of that stuff, like, you can't fucking do. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's he. Uh, actually, the site is completely down. Wow. Like, it's no longer there anymore. He seemed like a weird guy. So oh, now, so now we're getting into that point. That point where. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and and cancel ourselves on all the videos that <laughs> involved his his uh, his work. Yeah, and you can uh... <laughs> we'll have to cancel preemptively cancel everything because he was uh, well he was doing drugs and guns. You said yeah, drugs and guns. No, I don't think people get upset about that as much. Though. Yeah, no. I mean, people do get upset about that. You know how yeah, many. yeah. But if he said something sexist or racist or something, then yeah, that then be, then it would be different. Yeah. Which I'm almost certain he said something like that. Oh, I'm sure he did too. Most of the people who were into the guns and shit are, are usually like that. What are you saying about that? You saying you saying that I I hate women because I love guns, Taylor. Well, you can only pick one. <laughs> Can't have both. You can only pick one. Me, the guy who always prefers a gun over anything else. Yeah, but you're not out there like you know. I prefer swords over anything else, Taylor. Yeah, we need to go back to swords. Yeah, I would be much happier if the world went back to swords. Do you ever think about that when you played a game like Kingdom Come Deliverance and you're you're walking around town and then there's like a guard there with a sword and it's like he's basically got a gun. That's yeah. the gun equivalent of this in this time. Yep, sword is gun. Yeah. Well, technically it's bow is gun. But bow is gun, but like... <clears throat> But I mean, like, not everybody. But not yeah. in the same spirit. No, it's easier to use a sword than it is a fucking bow, right? Yeah. At least, like, inherently, like, all you got to do is like go like this with a bow. You got to have some finesse, some steady aim, you know. Just so you know, more people actually had bows than swords. Okay, well, whatever. swords were very. But that's, in what's, many well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a gun, right? Yeah. It's basically a gun. Yeah. Well. A fucking bow was a tool to use to gather food and stuff. Yeah. While a sword was there to protect yourself. Yeah, see, that's the gun in the scenario. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The only aspect uh, is that swords do not fly 
no. through the air. Unless, you're, unless you throw it. Unless and you're Spartacus and you throw it. Yeah, it. yeah, unless you're Spartacus and throw it. You should not do that, Dr. Tori. Very <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You'd be very upset. <laughs> I got you immediately reaching for that, and it's like I haven't watched fucking Spartacus in years, dude. <laughs> I'll always remember it. Yeah, I I still haven't finished it to this day. I still I have not. I have not watched the War of the Damned. I have not watched it. I'm sure it's cool. I don't know. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd have to. I'd have to like um, rewatch every single season to catch up. Melissa liked the first season, and then the second season was like the prequel one, and she did not like that. No. No. So I wonder if it would have been different if we just watched Gods of the Arena first. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean... That's what I should have done. I kind of feel the same way a bit about the prequel. It was kind of... Well, it it kind of brought things back down from like the kind of grandeur that it was building up in the main series. Yeah, well, and plus it kind of interrupted the whole story. It did. Like, like because, um, <clears throat> what's his name, Gannicus, like, comes back in season three. Yeah. So, like, I understand the need to kind of, like, want to set up that character a little bit. But, yeah. like, at the same time, it's like it kind of interrupts the flow of the story that's occurring, you know? Yeah. So, you know, it just kind of, it, it destroys the flow. Yeah. But I don't know why they did that. Why did they do that half season? I don't even remember. Was it like a, it was it because of Andy Whitfield passing away? Or yeah. Something? So they had to get something out. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Because they probably like shot that like in the interim while they were casting for Spartacus again. Yeah. You know, finding guess. a new actor and all that kind of stuff. So Liam McIntyre is the guy they went with, and he was good. Yeah, he was great. You know, I got used to him. Yeah. He's not the same, but you know. No, he's not the I same. Used to I would have loved to have seen uh, an Andy Whitfield uh, <clears throat> throughout, the whole, throughout the whole thing, but unfortunately, yeah. he no longer alive. Nope he 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 died of butt cancer. Yeah, he died of Dio, he died of Dio's death for sure. Where are the others? I like these guys because they're all called Mort. Oh, Every single okay. one of them is called Mort. <laughs> Hi, I'm more. You're more. I'm more. Everything's more. No, it's like a I am Spartacus situation. Okay. <laughs> Where everybody is saying I am more. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Oh, and keep you all busy while I'm gone. Got this at Xerxes. Mort can finally fix that ship she's been working on. See? Like, which one are you talking about? Oh, those pirates didn't give you any trouble, did they? Uh, only a little. You can give this to Mort yourself once you get her from that purple mess over there. <clears throat> what? Which Mort? Oh, yeah. you know, Mort. So they give me um, two objectives. I can do that or I can go to my hideout. And I think I think the first time I played this, I just left the anomaly there. I'm like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Morts. Nah, I'll probably do it first. I don't... Oh, this is one of those like time puzzles that I gotta do as Clank. That's right. Do not enter. Got it. May I take a look? I have some experience. Pisses me off that it took them this long to make a female Lombax, right? Sure. And that bullshit. Yeah. Well, you know they didn't want. Uh, they don't want Ratchet fucking. Well, they, the, they're kind of like rabbits. The confusing thing about it, though, is that in the in number two, there was Angela, and she kind of looked a little Lombaxy. Mm -hmm. So I, that's what I always thought she was. Like she doesn't. I don't think she's got the same ears. I think, but I, I don't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. But, like, she looked kind of lombax -y, and I'm like, oh, okay, so that's just another Lombax. But then eventually they work it into the, like, main storyline that the Lombaxes have, like, vanished or whatever. They've all vanished except for these two, so now they can repopulate the race and have all weird, fucked-up children through the generations. I'd be down for that, honestly. <laughs> Weird fucked up children down the generation. Well, no, just like the the prospect of them like <clears throat> like trying to repopulate or like re like you know establish the the Lombaxes as like a prominent species. They'll release a short PSP game that's an adult only game where it's just a mini games of trying to have sex to repopulate. <laughs> it's like a hot coffee mod. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, like I don't know, something like you know, maybe they you could even could have even done something like you know a uh, 
<laughs> it would be funny. It's like, you know, okay, so like in this game, we go across dimensions, right? And it's like, you know, they're basically like the same person, but just in different um, dimensions, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Rivet and Ratchet are the same, but just separated by dimensions. So like if they do that with their children, then they can literally fuck themselves into like a new generation. Into a new, yeah, into <laughs> a, a new whole race. Yeah. I think that'd be good. So the, it's got to be a PSP title because why would it be a PSP title? <laughs> because no one ever will use it. <laughs> I know, they don't the want point. the game to be out. They don't it's want an adult it to be game. out. Oh, okay. And then it can be uh, fucking Ratchet and Clank. Let's go fuck ourselves. Only on PSP. Nobody. <laughs> PSP. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was always my favorite thing. <laughs> you remember, you remember um, Ego Raptor's like video on that, <laughs> and like it was like those stupid squirrel commercials. You remember those? Yeah. You know, and then like at the end of it, he says PSP, <laughs> and then he, in text it says it's a piece of shit, but then he <laughs> crosses it out really quickly. <laughs> <clears throat> PSP was pretty bad. Yeah, I had. Uh, I think I only had like two or three games for it ever. Yeah, I'm just not much of a handheld guy. I I have this uh, Steam, Steam uh, Deck, Steam Deck, and that yeah. one's fun just because I can do games that I already <laughs> have on Steam. But when I'm out in a boat, that'd be cool. Yeah, I haven't I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, no, I um, I I like it in the capacity of like um, um. I only ever use it like a switch or something like that. Like when I go to like lay in bed or something. Mm -hmm. I've I've tried playing the switch like in in uh, the car when we're going to like you know uh, like St. Mary's or something like that. But I get like fucking car sick. I think like I find it very hard to to concentrate with it. I need this thing. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing over here? <clears throat> yeah, I used to, well when I was a kid, I used to play like Game Boy in the. Um, in the uh, car all the time, but now I don't really. I don't know. No, you can't. Now I can't. Well, I probably could. I just. Yeah, could. It just. It just like can't. gives me a headache after a while. Yeah. It is great, though. I will admit, it's great being able to fucking play Dragon's Dogma wherever I want. <laughs> <laughs> you and your fucking dragon's dogma. I'm going to bring it up in every episode that we <laughs> are doing tonight. <laughs> I'm going to bring it up in every single one. I really should have. Uh, <clears throat> I really should have beat fucking um, what you call it, Metro. Yeah, Metro. Is that what you Metro mean? sex with us? I was just thinking about that. Yeah, well, that's it's a good fucking game. I haven't played it in a little bit, but yeah, it's. Um, probably my... Oh, I gotta go back over there. It's probably my favorite um, Metro game, honestly. I don't know yet. I mean, I like it a lot. I just felt that the first two were kind of too similar. That's just my problem with it. Yes, yeah, so I can agree they were very similar. Like, like not in a bad way, but no. it's, just, it's hard to distinguish one from the other. <laughs> yeah, I, the other. I had that when I was talking to Mitch. I'm like... yeah. Him and I were talking about it, and he's like, oh, yeah, I really like that part where this thing happens. I'm like, oh, that's the first game. Oh. Um, yeah, well, in the first game, I really liked the part when this happened. That was the second game. Yeah, that's what I mean. The third game is very different. Yeah, the third game is, like, a very... And, and, and that's exactly what the game needed to do, I think, was kind of do this, like, pseudo-open-world type thing. I did a mini game. They get pretty creative in this game with the the like puzzles and shit though, I won't give one out. Yeah. She's like a fucking cat. Yeah. You know that reminds me, um <clears throat> uh anime. Uh -huh. You know, you know how anime 
they don't look like Japanese people. Yeah. And they technically don't look like Americans either. Yeah. Or any other race. <clears throat> Ooh, the ricochet. That's a good weapon. I like that one. Did you know... Bubba. Excuse me. That... What was that? Anime characters are actually cats. Is that... Who decided that? They are. They're literally... Like, that's the origin of anime characters. Oh. Um, is, uh... Like, whoever first drew them? Yeah. Just took pictures of their cats and then... Oh. Uh, use their facial structures. That would make sense, I suppose. That's interesting. Yeah, and then uh, when was like the first documented? Like, wasn't Lupin the third? Like the first like anime or something? The first like no. animated or technically no. Oh okay. The first animated thing was actually in America, and then it went over there and they oh, started. Doing... And then they just got popularized over there. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't remember exactly which one. I remember. It is. I remember Lupin the Third being like a, it's a, one of the earliest. Yes, ones. like one, one of the, the earliest. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, but yeah. So once I saw the pictures, someone had um, they took a picture of a cat, yeah. and then they overlaid like anime features, and then they made it into an anime character. I'm like, oh my god, it makes so much fucking sense. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. I don't know if I'm shooting the small guy, I should shoot the big guy. Yeah, the big guy is the one that everyone's shooting at. You should, um, I know I mentioned it last time, but you should, um, if you're interested, you should check out Berserk sometime. It's really good. Berserk, uh, If you're into that sort of thing, anyway. What do you, what would what, 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 what it have to be into, to be into Berserk? Oh, just like medieval, I know you like medieval shit, but I mean, like, specifically, like, the, the manga. Like, because the anime, um... The original, well, there was an original anime from 1997, which covered one of the, like, well, maybe, arguably, like, maybe two of the arcs from the manga, but, like, in the grand scheme of, like, the entire story of Berserk, it's a very small portion. Um, Isn't that guy dead now? Yeah, the creator's dead, yeah. Just recently. Yeah, I told, I think it was, like, last year or the year before, yeah. Yeah. I think I told you about that last time. Yeah. But, um, but, yeah, it's, um... I mean, granted, the arc that it does, like, the ones that it, it touches upon, I think it's the Black Swordsman arc and then the um, the Golden Age arc. And the Golden Age arc is pretty long for the most part because it's a very, it is a substantial part of the story, but that's mostly what the anime is, is the Golden Age arc. Okay. And it's like, um, it's like Guts going around with, like, the company of people, like, fighting war and shit. So it's, like, mostly, like, um humans fighting humans basically there's a little bit of demon shit in there but not a lot in the manga the black swordsman arc is a lot longer because like the, the big like in the in the anime the black swordsman arc is basically condensed down into like the first episode oh okay um but in the in the manga it's a little bit longer it um there's an actual like story with like some demon fighting and shit like that but like um yeah but like the golden age arc mostly not a lot of like it's mostly dudes fighting dudes. It's not a lot of like. So it's not very sure. fantastic. No, there are some elements that are in there. Like there's this one character that kind of is a recurring character. His name is Zod the Immortal, and he's kind of like a demon guy, and he's he's part of the Golden Age arc briefly, but like, um, you know, he comes back later, and he's kind of more of an important character kind of later on. But like the, uh, but like just. You know, the the anime, so, like, the 1997 anime, like, kind of covers the Golden Age arc. And then following that, they had not made, like, another one until, like, I think more recently that kind of follows up the story. And I don't even know if it goes directly, like, from the Golden Age or what. I don't. I honestly don't remember where it picks up. But, like, it, it's one of those, like, animes that's, like, 3D, you know? Okay. Like, one of those, like, 3D ones that you've probably seen before. Yeah. Um, I kind of don't really like that style, if I'm being honest with you. It um, depends. It kind of yeah, it kind of depends on which one it is. I I haven't seen the newer Berserk animes, but I've heard that they're not great. So, I would like even like I've, I have seen some of the animation. Yeah, it doesn't look super good. <laughs> um, the original anime wasn't even that animated that well either because it was made on like a very tight budget. But like yeah, um, but it's got a charm to it. But yeah, I so I basically what my the be all end all thing is I would just say like just read the manga if you're interested in it. And then, if you want to watch the shit, then you watch the shit. How uh, how long is the manga? Oh fuck! I don't know. It's it's pretty long, but like it's good. 
Um, yeah, it's one of those things that, like, I gotta, you know, I'll, I'll attempt it, and then if I'm in the mood... Yeah, I... It's one thing, like, you can, you can read, like, a chapter, like, you know, pretty quickly, but, like, there's quite a few volumes. I honestly forget. Like, I don't really want to even guess the number because I'm probably going to get it wrong. It's probably less than One Piece. Oh, yeah. So. Definitely less than One Piece, for sure. I don't even know how many are in One Piece, but I can almost guarantee you it is less. <laughs> you know it's got like a thousand fucking episodes? No, I would say... Fuck. I think altogether there's probably like 200-some chapters, but I don't know how many volumes that's split up over. I want to say there's like 257 chapters split up over the course of like maybe 20 or 30 volumes. That's what I want to say, but I'm not I'm not 100% on that. I really don't remember the exact number. Mm, let's see. Like over here. How do, I go, how do I go back? There's 41 oh. volumes. Oh, 41 volumes. Yeah, so like 41 volumes at about, yeah, like 200 some odd chapters is what I would place, like that's what I would guess at anyway. Is there a fucking like center thing? What do I do here? I think I just gotta glide across or something. But it's it's a really good story, and you can see, um, especially like when you read it, like how much um, things like Dark Souls and Dragon's Dogma like pull from Berserk. Berserk. Like, there's so many things that um, Berserk kind of like originated in a way, or like at least kind of you know had introduced in some capacity. Yeah, like. Um, there's uh, 370. Three, you know. 370? Okay. Chapters. 370. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's pretty long, but like, I would argue that most of the stuff is not very fillery. There might be a couple of sagas or arcs here or there that are kind of like not super great, but like, most of them are pretty, pretty good. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, like, I just found it online. I know I'm a cheap asshole, but I'm not going to spend fucking however much money to get 40 volumes of a yeah. manga. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, like, just, like, it's kind of a testament to it, too, because it's been in existence, or, like, that same story's been going on since, like, the 80s or some shit. Like, I don't know, it's been a long time since it started. So last year, November 2022. Yep. Um... They marked the 1,000th 1, 1, chapter of One Piece. Oh. <laughs> the 1,000th chapter of the manga? Of the manga. That's fucking insane, dude. <laughs> wow. How long has it been going on for? Uh, actually, apparently not that long. Oh, we're just churning them out, then. It's uh, the 22nd longest manga series by volume count. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. I'm about the to fucking die. The fucker. The bigger, like the... Does Naruto have a manga? Almost certainly. I'm sure it does. I just don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm curious who's who's got the longest. Me too. I mean, it's probably some shit that neither, neither you or I have fucking heard of. Guaranteed. <laughs> it's probably... Probably something that neither one of us have heard of. Probably like Ginkgo Guy Richie Gingugi, and it's like okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, Kochi Kame Tokyo B Cops. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, see, I don't know what that is. It's a well, it's a cop. Cop drama. Yeah, cop drama. One thousand nine hundred and sixty chapters. Wow. But so like, but that's not. I mean, that's. I mean, that is like almost twice as much. But still, like. Number wise, I, I I don't know. Like, is would you consider that far off? Like, like one piece is too far, or like you're far off, or I don't know. I don't know. I had to completely did that part wrong, but I still made it. Across. Uh, Hajime Hajime no Ippo. Oh, that's a good one. I I know that one. That's the box. That's one. the boxing one. Thirteen hundred and fifty three. Wow. That one's probably reaching a point where. So the main character's name is Ippo, and like the whole like I remember watching they they did an anime of that one for a little while. Um, I don't remember how long they did it for, but I remember watching it. Um, and you know, it's a typical sort of thing, like you know, young kid trying to becoming an up and coming boxer, right? 
if they've got that many chapters for Hajime no Ippo, then he's probably like the Rocky Balboa of that world now. Where yeah. he like he's like the mentor teaching somebody else how to box. <laughs> That's what I would think. <laughs> yeah, I would assume. <laughs> I'm just is this fucking uh This is a pocket dimension. Yeah, and this is clearly a crash bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the next one's Doraman. Oh, I don't know that one. Me either. That's not far off from Hajime no Ippo, though, huh? No. Super Radical Gag Family. Th these are all actually pretty close in number chapters. They're all about 1300. That's interesting. Bake the Grappler. I assume he wrestles. I think I've heard of that one. Uh, really case much. closed. I remember that Ooh. Uh, anime. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Wow. Le almost 1,100 chapters. <gasps> that one would probably be pretty good. One Piece is number seven now. According to that list. Yeah, 1,047. Some Silver Fang, the Shooting Star Jin. Is that a dog manga? It looks like oh, it. Fuck, that's like Homeward Bound, but anime. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hmm. 9.57. See, but then, to, like, to put that into context, to put that into context, though, like, I just said, I was talking about Berserk, and it's like, they've only got 370 chapters, and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty long. And then you're, like, showing me mangas with fucking thousands of chapters. Yeah, pretty, pretty much the lowest one on the list <laughs> was a thousand. is three times as much as what Berserk has, yeah, basically. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I recommend it. I don't know what spurred me to watch it or like to check it out. Actually, it came up. Um, there was a, a YouTube recommended video that came up, and they you know how sometimes in those animes they um, have outtakes of like the voiceovers. Yep. Somebody posted all of Berserk, but with the outtakes. <laughs> so I watched the whole fucking thing, but it's the whole show. <laughs> so I watched it all with the outtakes first, which is stupid. And yes, at one point in the in the outtakes, he does say, "Would you like to make some fuck berserker?" <laughs> Would you like to make him fuck berserker? <laughs> My love for you is ticking clock berserker. Would you like to suck my cock? You are being honest, as I have been saying repeatedly. Oh yeah. He looks a lot like mine. You need to like him too. Where are her, where are like her eardrums at? Do you think? Because there's no hole. Yeah. For her ears. Maybe behind. That'd be interesting. Or underneath the uh, like underneath her goggle thing. Yeah. Maybe. Not all robots, Taylor. Do you think um, they mocapped for this? Uh, some of it, yeah. Probably not. Yeah, she got a robot arm. I apologize. I did not mean to, um... You feel bad. Even though I just watched your brain... I want, I want more games with her in it. Because I really like Rivet a lot. Well, I'm t telling you, there's a PSP game coming out. No, a non-porn one. Oh. I mean, like, a mainstay regular So you're telling me game. you're not going to buy the porn game, right? I mean... If I gave uh, it to you, how about that? If you gave it to me? Yeah. Yeah, I'd check it out. You had to buy a PSP. I still see... Oh, I used to have one. The battery's probably no good in it, if I, even if I had one. Mm -hmm. I got rid of it a long time ago. Um, oh, her magno arm. Well, that's unfortunate for him. I don't know. I just, think they, did, I just think they did a good job with her design because she's cute and fun looking and like mm, yeah, easily <laughs> easily made into a sexual object. <laughs> uh, I was just about to say, and really not that sexual. <laughs> no, the, that's, well, that's what I'm saying. No, I, no I, that's my joke. Because right? <laughs> like, they made porn out of her before she, the game even came out. Yeah, that's that's just the internet. But that's but that's what I'm saying. Like like she's I don't know. She's just cute and very likable. I don't know. The uh, actress who's playing her, you know, sounds pretty good. It's a uh, <coughs> femshep, bro. Yeah. Why are you fucking slowing down? Okay, because it was, she was talking. So no, no, I actually like this part. This part's pretty sick because you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta do these ramps. 
to like get up on him. That might be too far. Oh, I made it. Just caught it. And then we fucking blast into the thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Jennifer Hale does the voice for Rivet, which I thought was interesting because it's like, all right. She, I think they pitched her voice up a little bit, but... Or Unless, what maybe, if they pitched it down? Maybe, for... <laughs> maybe she can just affect her voice really well. Who knows? Yeah, could totally happen. Shit, baby. It's also um, Alex from uh, Teen Titans. No, Eternal Darkness. It's also oh. she also did the voice for. Oh Alex, yeah, the girl. That's a good game. Yeah, we'll get back to that eventually, Alex. Alex. <laughs> Other Alex. <laughs> Other Alex. We will play Star Fox again. Don't worry. Billy's got to fucking come to Canada for that, though, because I'm not bringing my computer here. You d you already did, though. I know, but I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do that all the time. That was a very special case. That was for me to basically do nothing for you other than, like, clean it out. I, I just... You, I would you saw how easy the fix I know, the I know how it's I know it's easy. I know I should probably learn how to do it one day, but I just would rather... F I, I trust... Somebody who actually knows what they're doing versus me being like, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know. <laughs> the files are in the computer. It's so simple. How do we get them out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, who's a dick? <laughs> no, I just, I just trust that you will do it way better than I would anyway. Like as far as like seeding it. And I mean, it's just. I know. I know. There's really only one way. I know, but Billy. Look at it this way. If yeah. if you were a guitar player, would you want to do like restring it yourself or get me to do it? Uh, I would restring it myself. Oh, well, fuck you then. <laughs> Maybe that's the difference between you and I. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm very uh, I want to do things myself. I think just what it is for me is just like I don't know what any of the shit does. You know what I mean? Like. The cables and all that, I just don't know what they do. I, it I delivers like, power. I know I could look it up, but I'm just saying, like, I just don't know how, like, I don't know. It all interfaces with itself, I guess. It's just a very foreign thing to me. Like, I, I like computers, and I use them, but I don't know the inner workings or anything like that. I'm not good at that shit. Well, I mean... I, know, I honestly consider that way myself that way also with just music production and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like... I use things. I sometimes know what they do, but but don't one hundred percent understand. Yeah, because like as long as you understand it enough, like who really fucking cares? <laughs> True. You it's know, a lot what I do in my job. Yeah, right. It's like you know, from a practical standpoint, do I need to know like the capacitors that are in this compressor emulator that I've got? No, I don't need to know that information. It, it is worthless. It make good sound, and I make sound with it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. Like, why would I need to know what kind of preamps we're using? Like, who gives a shit? When you listen to an album, you're not like, oh, those, those Grace preamps really make that shit sound great. If it oh weren't my. the Grace preamps, they would be ass. Oh, those it's like fucking nobody, Grace preamps. Like, nobody, like my nips are. Nobody thinks that way. <laughs> Song is either good or bad. Like that's it. And it's like, oh yeah, that sounds good. I like the way that he he like did the little. -wee -wee. I like how he got that digital clipping using his Bitcrush plugin. So fucking hot. It's right so now. fucking hot. <laughs> Hansel's so fucking hot right now. <laughs> that movie holds up, dude. It does. <laughs> the sequel, not so much. No. Have you ever seen it? No, I haven't. Oh, it's terrible. <clears throat> it's so bad. I just kind of assumed. It's fucking awful, dude. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just like, uh, I'm just gonna skip this. There's a reason why nobody is gonna talk about it, is because it's fucking dreadful. Did they at least get, like, a good, uh, you know, terrible accident at the start? Who, oh, like the foreign guy at the beginning? Yeah. Like no. the Shadow Man? No, the, uh, you know, gasoline fight. Like Just a do cookie like dough. another one of those? No, no, no. I thought you said accent. That's oh, what I thought no. you said. No, well, I think there is. Because his wife dies in it, like, at the beginning. Nice. Probably just because she didn't want to be in the fucking sequel. <laughs> 
So, like, I think her name is Christine Taylor. Like, she gets killed, like, right away. Oh, nice. Because they built, you know, you know how at the end of the first movie, there's, like, the, the center, the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good or whatever? Yes. Um, they, like, retroactively in the sequel said that they built, like, the foundation of that building out of, like, paper mache because of the, like, he had the model built or whatever. So, he, so like, the they building. Built it, like, the model. Yeah, the building literally collapsed on top of her and killed her or something like that. Which is so dumb. And then, like, he goes and lives off by himself in a cabin somewhere, and then Billy Zane has to come and, like, pull him out of his funk. But then, like, you find out that he's got, like, a kid, and, like, his kid is, like, the worst fucking character. It's just, it's bad. It's not fucking good. It's a terrible fucking movie. Next time in Chin Step Chaps, we watch Zoolander 2. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you.